Hello, my lovely Virgo. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Virgo, welcome to the first readings for April. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. And today we're looking into who is coming towards you, what is coming towards you, what are those energies that you need to pay attention that is on, they, are, they are on the way, and you might see them or you might not. Let's see, loves. Sun, Moon, Rising, Science, and Venus. Always, always know. My resonate this reading with you, might not, as is a general one. Take what loves, speaks, and connects with you, leave what doesn't. Virgo, we do have a new moon on the 1st of April, the new moon in Aries, when we are taking action towards the things we are wanting, we manifesting, and so on. Aries, quite a masculine energy, and... If you really wanted or plan to do something, now is a good time. As well, with the full moon in Libra on the 16, very much speaks that you got to balance whatever you started, whatever you go, whatever you want to do. Take a deep breath, take a day off, take some time for you to balance whatever in life you are. Let's love how the things are there for you. As always, you know, the oracles are for the messages at the end of the reading. Let's begin and see how the energies are blessing us for this month. Decisions for some Virgos. Important decisions to be made, to be taken. Could be in regards to situation, could be in regards to a person. Let's see, an overarching energy for the reading. Here you are. King of Pentacles. Justice. Hermit. And voila, Ace of Pentacles. A lot of thinking, deep thinking, trying to put the good and the bad. Should I do this? Should I go this? If this is good, this is what I want, this is what I don't. So you are basically, this month, you start with grounding yourself. Doing the things as you want to do and as you feel they are right for you. Indeed, loves. Very much into your own energy. As well, there is a Virgo here who been thinking quite a lot, but from the full moon in your zodiac sign till the full moon in Libra, this new stable grounding beginning could happen or is actually happening. Etsy loves Queen of Cups right here. Moon, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Swords, Star, Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and Temperance. Wow! Goodness! Virgo! What we got here, loves? Indeed, here there is a um, talk with someone regards the situation. Somebody here has a lot of questions towards the other one. There is a um, conversation, Virgo, with someone in here. I have water energy, air, fire. But I feel here you've been thinking of this quite a lot. And around the, the, the full moon in Libra could be one day, one month. But it takes you quite a lot to come forward, to 
talk with whomever is this one. There's a lot of things here you want to say or the other person want to say. But I feel here there's a good release with the temperance at the end. Let's see some clarifications here for the Moon Moon card, King of Swords. So whomever you want to talk or whoever wants to talk to you, they needed a lot of courage to go and do it. One more card for the moon and the king of swords. Nine of wands, absolutely. And knight of cups. So Virgo, whoever you are dealing here, you know them. They might also live at the distance, but there is a strong bond between you two. A very strong bond, not only on a physical level, level, level but emotional and spiritual. And you could not communicate with this person for quite a while. But now that communication happens. It's more likely for some of you is like, I need to get it out once and for all. Vice versa. It's a very strong blend between you, but I feel here there is still passion and desire regards whoever is this one. It's like the personality of whoever is this person kept you very interested. It's like they attract you not just because physical, but the way they communicate or they their action towards. The Knight of Wands clarifying by Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and Page of Cups. What I'm seeing right now whomever is this person Virgo They could take advantage of you, but they did not got through that. It's like this person, it's a one-of-a-kind person. Although you, 
you have a hard time to approach them or you had till this month. What's the Hermit card here for? Two of Swords. You had no contact with this person whatsoever. Something here ended. But now you feel you can go forward. So indeed here, something here ended between you two. Either that one moved on or moved to a different place or had other things. But I see single energy here. For some of you, you did manifest this connection. Queen of Swords. Let's clarify for Knight of Pentacles. Fool. And Ten of Pentacles. So here we are, loves. Somebody here is taking a leap of faith. And that leap of faith will show up quite strongly. You know, never ever underestimate the power of planting a seed. If someone here wants something, they can get it. And they can get it only taking action towards. As well, no, there's a lot of movement coming up for you, loves. For some of you, there is someone rushing back into your life. The Knight of Swords is missing, which is the fastest knight from the deck. As well, we have here three kings. King of Swords, King of Wands, King of Pentacles. The only king is missing, it's King of Cups. Someone who knows what their heart wants. And how wants it. As well, we have the Queen of Cups and Queen of Swords. Which these two queens speaks about. I'm allowing with my heart. And I'm allowing with my mind. So the universe to bring me in. Whatever wants to. As you see here from the, the court cards, only King of Cups from the Cups is missing. Which that very much speaks of the emotional state of one person here. Could be yours, Virgo, could be the other person. But I feel here a lot of things will cool down after a conversation with this person. There is a lot of clarity coming up this month for you, Virgo. And a lot of peace afterwards. And I feel here there's a lot of courage from one person. On the other hand, somebody here never thought this could be ever possible. Never say never. That's a here, loves. Advice. Advice. 
Six of Cups. High Priestess. Indeed here there is something here which needed to be said. And now this month is that month. Empress. And Ace of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune underneath. Trust in the divine guidance. I feel here this when many, many of you, you might hear that everything in its own time. So for this energy, now is the time. Because I'm feeling here someone got to talk here with a person. And that will happen. I will look really quick was that King of Cups. But look at here. This is the next card that's coming up. And I feel here this is for a long time. We've been waiting for this conversation for some of you. King of Cups. Where are you? Here it is. So, King of Cups is right here. The card in front, we have Chariot and Ace of Wands. And underneath, we have Five of Cups. So, somebody here is leaving for good something behind. And they look forward to their future. So, yeah, loves. Whomever is this person. Might feel a big turnaround. So, either you are towards them or they are towards you. But I feel here it's, it's a conversation that... can be missed and it's not delayed it's happening in the divine timing and somebody here very very much strongly believing in that So yeah, Virgo, let's see, one oracle out here, what we got, new life, somebody here will have a good surprise, let's start a new life. An Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and we've seen Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. So, strong new beginnings. No place like home, observer, and by the book. Everything here, what happens, is in a stable energy and feels good. Time for a nap. Again, I feel here whatever it's clarified this month. It's with peace. Feeling peace or peaceful. Also, for some of you, you could look for some advice what you should do you know you could ask someone who has expertise how i should proceed in this specific situation 
and now you see, now you go. And feels quite great. Very beautiful energy for many, many Virgos who indeed look for clarity in their life as well for new beginnings. All right, Virgo, I thank you so much for coming in. I hope this brought you some advice or some information you are looking at some clarity in your situation if that does let me know down below otherwise many blessings namaste